Using inch-long EcoBots made up of toothbrush heads, a watch battery, and a vibrating motor, thousands of youths from around the country devise ways to clean up a simulated toxic spill during the EcoBot challenge. We are going to let you do your thing for over the next hour. This uh, experiment, the EcoBot experiment, is an experiment that I put together for National Youth Science Day. According to Bob Horton, Ohio 4 H specialist who created the challenge, the experiment is designed to get the engineering juices flowing among the participants. The idea of the EcoBot challenge is to get those students engaged in, in, in thinking outside of the box. So they're, they're building some teamwork, they're building some problem solving skills. This whole idea of engineering is, is problem solving and coming up with solutions that can help this problem. The challenge here today is we've had a toxic spill on a simulated challenge mat and their goal is to be able to take an EcoBot configure it such that it will be able to sweep up as much of the toxin as it can within a, a specified period of time. Right now we're working on the barrier so we, the robots like stay and they don't move off everywhere. Uh, like some of the spots where there's the sharp corners we need to fix those so that way the robots don't get stuck in those. Um, we're almost ready for the rice. The beauty of this experiment is that it's a hands-on experience. The way the kids learn in 4-H is through experiential education by getting their hands on it. So instead of reading about it in a book or watching a video about it, they're getting the opportunity to build the robot and come up with an engineering design process that solves a problem. So it's got a very real-world hands-on application for them. Ohio State is the state's land-grant university, one of the great, if not the greatest, land-grant university in the country. And what we're about is we're about building community, about creating ideas, about making uh, jobs and opportunities available to the people of Ohio. And uh, by encouraging young people to think about science and engineering, uh, about thinking uh, about thinking creatively and about coming and, uh, and joining us at the university or at other colleges and staying here in the state is a uh, very much an important part of our mission and is very good for Ohio. I really, really liked like working together with people and building the robots. It was really fun. Teachers and others who work with youths can order the EcoBot Challenge kits from National 4-H through mid-2013. Simply go to the website at the bottom of the screen. For Ohio State College of Food, Ag and Environmental Sciences, I'm John Rice.